Well, howdy, partner. Are we on an adventure today? Let's show everybody what we're up to. All right, dude, I got something special to show you. Come here. We're going into this Christmas wonderland together. I'm gonna show you what they have in there. You're gonna love it. Guide the way. Guide the way, Jaw. We're in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. You can see that sign over there. Guide us around it. There you go, good job. This is great. Scenes of the first battle, the American Revolution, 1774, site of Washington's camp. I've been here once before with some of the family, but he has not, so we thought we needed to stop. That's kind of like a Grinch tree, because there's the Mothman statue. Can't come to Point Pleasant and not visit the Mothman statue. Your family would never forgive you, would they? They love the Mothman. Come here, John, take a look. That was a great statue, Legend of the Mothman. On a chilly fall night in November 1966, two young couples drove into the TNT area of north of Point Pleasant, West Virginia when they realized they were not alone. They were not alone, Jaw. You're yawning. It says what they saw that night has evolved into one of the great mysteries of all time, hence the Mothman legacy. It began it has grown into a phenomenon known all over the world by millions of curious people asking questions. What really happened? What do these people see? And has it been seen since? It says it still sparks the world's curiosity. The mystery behind Point Pleasant's Mothman. Oh look, look at the oh eyes. <laughs> ja, come here. Take a look at the eyes. Did you enjoy it? You did? You like coming to see the Mothman? Cool. Of course, they put the Mothman statue right here beside the Mothman Museum. Jaw's not going to document that today. <laughs> Look at the feet. Point Pleasant has had all kinds of craziness. All kinds of, they believe that this town is cursed from a wrongful death of Chief Cornstalk. There's the Mothman Museum right there. And they have this amazing walk down here, this river walk with some amazing murals. Let's take a look. Mothman Museum, the Low Hotel. Oh, take a look at this. We gotta show you this. Sometimes the little things that the town does make it the most fun, like that right in front of the post office. And this store across the street has Don't Hassle Me, I'm Local, What About Bob shirts. All right, Jaw, let's go over here where we were headed before. Are you having fun? Some snowmen. see the water. Point Pleasant was the site of that unfortunate bridge collapsing in the early 60s. Uh, 
And what's interesting is they have like the whole town's history going all along this wall because this all used to be part of Virginia. It was Fort Randolph. Boy, did it have a history. Like I mentioned, Chief Cornstalk wrongly being killed here. They believe that he put a curse on this place when he was killed. But it's just a darn good place to give you a walk, isn't it? The little boy needs a walk. That's all the Native American history on this wall. They have a couple of statues down here. There's Chief Cornstalk on the left. And then General Andrew Lewis over here. Then over here they have Lord Dunmore. There, Ja. Do you feel like you significantly saw Point Pleasant, West Virginia? Do ya? Are you ready to hit the road? Let's do it, big guy. <laughs> 